Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the spiral lock piston locks on a set of Keith Black pistons. Let's get to it. So you only need really one tool to do this job, um, and that is just a, I like to use this blunt star end um, to push them around. Most people use a flat head, but I find this is a little bit easier and it doesn't score um, the inside of the piston as much. Um, so what you're going to get is, you're going to get these and you might be a little confused and a little more used to the ones that you just use a set of pliers to squeeze and then it opens up inside. and. Uh, what this is, is what the name actually calls it, and um, it's a spiral locking ring. So what you do is you want to take both your rings, and you want to stretch it out. Not too far, just about like that. After you do that, you want to take your piston and remove the wrist pin out of the piston and set that aside somewhere clean, where it's not going to get any dirt in it. You want to orient your piston correctly. I have mine marked for the front and get the top combustion chamber area correct. Then take your wrist pin and kind of guide it through. If it doesn't go through one way, turn it over to the other side and it should slide right through. And just line it up. Work it in, don't force anything. This is supposed to be a perfect cut hole, so. So then what you wanna do is you wanna take your spring and you wanna take this end here that has that little edge and you wanna put it down into the bottom like that. And then you wanna push your thumb against that to hold the tension so that way it's kinda cocked down in there and it has nowhere to go. It's just sorta kicked up against that edge. Whoops. So like I said, just kind of use leverage like that. So you've got it. Use leverage like that. And then I found the easiest way to do this is to press, once you have it hooked in down here, to press this top end in first. And then you can work your way around the spiral and I found it's easy to go inside of the spiral and you just keep pushing and keep working it through and look because you'll be able to tell if it's gone through and you're pushing your wrist pin out or if you're actually locking it in place now once you get over here again then you can come up here to the top and press that back down like that and then use this to push your Use your thumb to push that over and you can use leverage again to kind of work this thing in. And it is sort of a tedious process. See now we're over here again. Now I can push this down up here and get that last little bit. And you will get a little bit of scoring, but essentially that's what you want to end up with right there. And you're just going to turn it over, push your wrist pin all the way back against that uh, lock that we just put in and put the other one in the same exact way and that's how you do that. If you like what you saw in this episode be sure to tune in. If you have suggestions for upcoming videos or have something you'd like to see comment below. Uh -huh. <gasps>